one thing we can do is actually apply some texture to the light if you want. I'm going to show you a quick way of doing that. Let's go to um, the COP network and um, inside this image network, let's create a noise. Uh, we don't need it to be noise per component. Maybe something like this. Maybe change this to alligator. Yeah, something like this. And let's uh, put in two colors. So let's say, again, same kind of principle. So kind of blue, some magenta, uh, reduce saturation slightly here as well. Not 100% saturated. And let's composite this. So we'll have this, this, oh, this, this, that. And the uh, mask, let's make sure it's not reading alpha, but it's actually loading one of the channels, RGB channel. So we have a lot more red and blue. We can uh, play with the noise as well. Um, working with the exponent should allow us to control that a bit more. If you want to look at what you're doing, then you can just drag this in and see how this is developing. This also has a frame frequency. Let's uh, put some value here and you should see this changing as the time goes by. Let me make sure that this is actually not rendering. It's not. Okay, so we have this uh, texture. You can uh, kind of add more turbulence to this, more complexity. I don't think it'll be noticeable, so probably putting it down, maybe some more roughness, not really showing if we don't have more than one. And the exponent maybe Something like this, or like this. I do want the blue to be dominant. Maybe try another thing. This isn't bad either. Yeah, just adding a bit more texture here and probably playing with the exponent a bit more. So yeah, just play with it. Find one that you like, sparse convolution. Not bad either. I do want to have some gradient here. Instead of some harsh things, but yeah. Looking for the right one. I think this will work. I've probably said this like 10 times by now, but yeah, let's go with this. If you really, if you still feel like it's um, too much red and you want more blue, I think probably the best way to go is to just um, use another noise. Uh, you can offset it, something, and let's uh, composite these two. We won't need a mask for this and let's merge with um, maximum. So it'll use the maximum value of each one of these so that way we get more white and that way we should be able to get more blue in here, okay? If we just have one, we have less blue and now we have more blue. Of course, we can continue with the... Yeah, I think this is an interesting effect. Let's change the frequency on this one and let's see. Yeah, nice texture. So we'll use this. Uh, you can just go to your light, LGT core. And instead of color, uh, not color, uh, unit type, use texture. On the texture, you, you have a tab just for the texture, file name. You can drag this in here and just add op. And this should give you some texture on the lighting. Let's go back to scene view. Let's see if this makes any sense. Uh, I'm going to turn down the light intensity to one. So we're not kind of exploding everything a bit too much. So let's see how this is looking. Okay, now we have a lot less intensity, but you do have some animated texture going on uh, the, um, on our light. Uh, we still want it to be pretty intense. So let's go with 50. Okay. Uh, there is something there. It's just uh, very blown up. So let's let's keep it. But I think it's it's an interesting um, effect to have. 
um maybe maybe more 80 yeah i think this intensity is is working let's see how that's gonna play out for us uh, i'm gonna put in the i think i never turned this one off no i didn't so let's go back to first frame let's have a look at it probably too saturated these colors uh we can kind of play with that so let me hide this so instead of using the composite let's go color correct after this and just uh, not a color correct probably hsv composite view minimize okay so saturation scale let's bring it down to 0.5 yeah just it was just burning up too much uh, in terms of saturation on the scene so i think this will probably work better for us but we need to update the path here on the light core and on the texture it's going to be the hsv that we want this is one we want operator let's see okay so it's no longer as saturated uh, the bursts of red and blue so i think this this will work better and i think that's it for this one um we can kind of create uh, other attributes based on the layers uh, that could be something interesting to have as well so that you have kind of a gradient the closer the the layer is to the center the brighter it is or you can add some self-illumination to this but i think at this point we have a, a good effect the way it is so this is kind of yeah i think it's interesting for now so let's go with that and uh, next we'll be shading the particles and see how we can render particles uh, using redshift as well